Time to do a little playing with point to point. I have a boundary drawn in here. This is a bow tie quilt. And this is one of those bow tie quilts with the little square is loose on all four sides. And that's what this line here is, is two sides of that bow tie. I have selected some patterns from it's a quilt thing and I'm going to use these are P to P patterns I will select these and do a cotton nading in repeat and point to point so I'll select the two patterns in the order then I'm just going to go and place them in the locations where I want them you to get P to P and it already is set for P2P pattern. And click these points. This is not an exactly a very well made quilt. The points in the blocks do not meet but I'm going to do the best that I can with this I'll click stop now I have all of these patterns located in the perspective areas that I'm going to quilt this I may have to make a little bit of adjustment but this is how easy it is to do a P2P using concatenate There's another area right above this row, and then there's a border in here. So I'm going to put these patterns in this area above. And how I'm going to do that also is I'm going to change the order that I select these. I started with this Feather Diamond 2, and I'm going to start now with the Feather Diamond 1 for the next row. So I've selected that one. Hold down the control key. Select this one. I'm just going to click the points across and put these patterns in there. Go over and get my P to P and I'll just click the points as I go across. It's going to put these patterns all in the correct orientation and I'll be able just to stitch all of this out. Okay, I have all of those in place. And now I'll be able to go ahead and adjust these to fit more closely. This is the border area, and I'm going to put a pattern in that, and I'll sh get the patterns clicked into place, and then come back and show you the results. Okay, to get this to work and put these pa this pattern here across there, I measured this, and it's 67.55, so I'm going to use repeat patterns to do this. I'm going to just right click and get out of that. I have my pattern selected. I'll go to repeat patterns, change my start point to, or change it to start point. Then I'm going to put right click, put in this measurement, click OK. It's going to put those patterns across there. I want an extra repeat. I'm going to go and tell it I want one more repeat, and I'll show you why I want that. I intend to select all of these. I will rubber stamp them. Click Escape to get rid of this drop down. Move these up. Right click 
I'm going to flip them vertically. Now I'm going to move them into position. I have zoomed in and I have moved this set of patterns. I want to get to where these connect right along here like this. That'll make a totally different looking group of patterns. And I'm going to do a fill inside. Okay, remember I added an extra repeat that I don't really need, so I'm going to delete this repeat right there. It's going to I have it selected, I'll delete it. Then I'm going to do a fill inside. I did the fill inside, and now I have this in this border area right there. So I think that's going to work out just fine. Remember, this area right in here is where that little square is with the four loose sides to it. And that's why I had to draw the boundaries like this.